that's why a lot of times people, I think, have a hard time not drinking because their body is being rewired. If you've been having one glass of wine a night for years or every other night for years, your brain circuitry is actually being rewired and your, kind, your brain's like shrinking. Like you're actually getting less smart. It makes us crave more alcohol. what is actually going on in our bodies when we dr do drink alcohol. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So alcohol is this weird freaking thing, man. Like there's a lot of different types of al alcohol, but the one alcohol that humans do drink is called ethanol. Ethanol has actually been used as fuel. <laughs> like it goes directly into the gut, which then goes to the liver. The liver basically is then gonna convert the ethanol two more times from that. So it changes from ethanol to acetaldehyde. When that's happening, that's when we start to feel tipsy and drunk is when that conversion is happening. And then from acetaldehyde, it changes to acetate. And that's the final stage. And acetate is basically, <clears throat> it's, it's alcohol turned into like a form of energy, it seems like, where that's where our body can actually try to gain something from alcohol, which is just energy. Because there's actually no nutritive value to alcohol. And I'm not saying that because I have a biased opinion on it. Like scientifically, there is actually no value, nutritive value to alcohol whatsoever. It's literally just poison. The other thing about alcohol is that it's actually water and fat soluble. So our brain is made up of a lot of fat, right? A lot, a lot of fat, a lot of water. So that means basically that alcohol can just pass as it's going down into the, the gut and the liver. It's also going into our brains. Like it just passes right through our brains. So it's basically, if you want to imagine like dumping a thing of alcohol into your brain, that's what's going on. Not good, right? That means it's flooding in the brain directly into the cells. So that's not good. Um, that's gonna cause a lot of problems. So the reason that's worth noting is because the alcohol is basically flooding those brain cells, right? For some reason, according to these all these studies and these people that study this stuff, alcohol has this affinity to go toward the parts of the brain that have to deal with like behavior. So that would be the prefrontal cortex of the brain. And that part of the brain deals with behavior, but it also manages like impulsive decision making and that kind of stuff. So what does this actually mean? Well, like I was saying before, for apparently for people that have one or so drinks of alcohol or glasses of alcohol at night, um, or if they don't drink during the week and they maybe drink on just a Friday or a Saturday and they have like six or seven drinks that night, that is enough damage to the brain circuitry that actually over time, it causes us to have rewiring of the circuitry in the brain. So what that means is that even when we're not drinking, so the sober times when we're just normal, living our day-to-day -day lives, our prefrontal cortex and the actual neural circuitry of our brains has been damaged and affected in the places that would create better decision-making and less impulsive actions and that type of behavior just in our day-to-day -day lives. So over time, and it doesn't, I don't think it's a lot of time either, those people that do have those one or two drinks a night, it's actually, it's not like, it's not like I'm saying, you know, you're, your brain is being jacked up just that week. It's like, you know, if you've been having one glass of wine a night for years or every other night for years, your brain circuitry is actually being rewired and your kind your brain's like shrinking. Like you're actually getting less smart, more or less, because of that. And your decision making starts to be more spontaneous and crazy. It's kind of like when you black out um, and you see people doing crazy stuff or you start doing crazy stuff, that's because that prefrontal cortex is just like, and you're just like, okay, cool, I'll do everything. And that's what's happening. But it's it's like that, but elongated over your lifetime. So it causes a lot of problems. When we drink this alcohol, like I said, it's ethanol, which converts to acetaldehyde, and then it goes to acetate. That happens directly in the liver, right? When you drink alcohol and, you, and it goes to the gut, which it does, you kill all bacteria. The gut is actually being hugely damaged as well, which is a really big problem. And I don't know how familiar a lot of people are with the gut. It's, it's this amazingly important piece to our bodies. The gut has a microbiome in it, and that's kind of like our bodies. Um, like forest of bacteria. <laughs> so we have good bacteria, we have bad bacteria. We need bacteria 
to function. That's what keeps our immune system strong. That's what keeps us healthy. That's what allows our mood to stay stable. Um, that's where a lot of people struggle if they're obese or can't lose weight even just a little bit. People like myself who have had eating disorders often deplete their gut bacteria and their gut health. So anyways, all that to be said, gut health is super, super, super important. And when you drink, when, when we drink alcohol, we're basically pouring like alcohol into our gut where all that good and bacteria is and we're killing both parties. So that means that we're basically eliminating all of our chances of having a healthy gut by doing that, even just by having these one or two drinks a night for, you know, a casual drink to go to bed or a nightcap or whatever that is. And that causes so many problems. I mean, I was on antidepressants for a decade. I was anorexic. I weighed a hundred pounds. I was 50 pounds lighter than I am now. And like, I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not overweight by any means. My gut was t completely depleted. When you drink alcohol and you, and it goes to the gut, which it does, you kill all bacteria. Your gut is kind of made up of these, like, it's like laced together material. It's kind of like, you know, sewed together. Well, when you have problems with your gut and you have leaky gut, those bits get kind of looser. So there's like holes in between. So the, it, the gut is holding food, right? Or the food that you're processing. So when it's not tight like this, but it's looser like this, which is coming from drinking alcohol a lot in, in part, the food that you eat actually goes and leaks out of your gut and gets into your bloodstream. And that means that you then have food bacteria all up in your bloodstream which is causing all like so many problems with people's health, heart problems, um, hormone health problems, you can't lose weight, all sorts of things. So that's coming from damage to the gut that, uh, not all of it, it, alcohol is a massive contributing factor to uh, gut health is what I'm trying to say. So all that to be said, this is the really, really, really weird part about um, drinking alcohol, but when you combine the the effects of alcohol on the brain, right? So it's flooding the brain in the areas of behavior and it's changing the circuitry. When you combine that with the problems of leaky gut and the problems it causes in the gut, and then you also, you know, talk about the way that alcohol has, it needs to convert ethanol from acetaldehyde to acetate. When you do all of those things together, which is what is happening when we drink, the body has this really, really weird reaction to it, which basically it makes us crave more alcohol and it is changing the circuitry in our brain to continue to want alcohol. So not good, right? That's why a lot of times people I think have a hard time not drinking because their body is being rewired by alcohol. I mean, I remember when I was trying to stop drinking, I actually was addicted. Like I wouldn't have called myself an alcoholic. I don't think by social standards, I would have been considered an alcoholic, but I know for sure now that I definitely was, and I was craving alcohol. I used to love going to events to get fucked up. You know, I used to love the feeling of being tipsy and like that feeling it would give me and I craved it and if it wasn't at the party I was like the party was less good like it wasn't even really a party you know and I used to like really really want it right similar to how if I have sugar now like I really just keep wanting sugar or like nicotine or whatever it's like but what's happening in the brain is your body is actually telling you to keep drinking alcohol and that's why we get stuck in the cycle and you keep trying to break out of it, but you're struggling. And so the only answer really is to stop drinking alcohol and get space. And that's something that, you know, if people need to seek out professional help for that, they sh certainly should because this is what's happening. If that's something that you know you can separate from on your own and you don't need professional help, my personal advice would be absolutely to do that because it completely changed my life. If you're somebody that doesn't feel like any of this pertains to you, then you're probably not watching this video anyways, but maybe tell somebody else. <laughs> uh, but that's that's what's happening in our body when we drink alcohol. It's freaking wild, man. There's really nothing good that's coming out of drinking alcohol. The happy high feeling that we get, that rush of like good feelings is essentially coming from poisoning our brain uh, and our gut and our, I'm sorry, our liver um, converting alcohol. And it's, and it's basically the alcohol flooding our brain cells and then changing the neural circuitry. It's poison. And that's where we get that high feeling. I don't, I don't know if when I was drinking that would have been enough for me to care, honestly, but now that I've decided to stop drinking and I'm five years separated from it, I can see such a dramatic difference between myself 
five years ago to now. My mood is better. I actually like the way I physically look. Like I, I'm not overweight. I look great. I feel great. My skin is so much better. My memory is crazy, 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 crazy better. My income has like quadrupled since then uh, because I can actually perform. My fitness, I'm so strong now, whereas before I couldn't maintain going to the gym because I'd be hungover. My friendships, so much deeper, so much more meaningful because I'm actually consistent and show up for them. And I actually have purpose a lot of times behind the conversations, not to say that people who drink don't, but for me, that was something that I definitely struggled with was having um, depth behind my friendships because I wasn't very deep at that time. I was kind of limiting my own potential and I was also recovering all the time from being drunk and hungover. I could go on and on and on. That's not the point of this video, but I do hope that this did help somebody who might you know, be looking for this information or be curious about it. If you guys like this video, basically, I would appreciate it if you guys would like the video so that other people who might need to see it can see it with the algorithm. I did just start a Patreon channel. So if you do like this content, if you're feeling it, if you'd like to support the channel um, in a small way, that would be so great. It's like a doll, it's a donation of like four or 10 bucks or something like that. But basically whatever you think it's worth to continue with this content and also with this community, it's gonna continue to evolve. I, you know, I love talking about breaking these systems and this brainwashing that we've been stuck in. I truly believe that we're stuck in this system as a society with food, with you know medicine, with alcohol, all that kind of stuff. Finally, if you have any comments, anything you agree about, disagree about, go ahead and drop that below to all the people here. You guys are all honestly so dope and I'm always inspired by you guys. So if you wanna reach out to me privately, reach me on Instagram. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. All right, thank you guys. See ya.